some sadai barakallahu fikum they fall into this into worshiping other than Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala or they might think well worshiping other than Allah I don't pray to no statue I don't be you know make a sujood to the statue some of the people this is what they think that is shirk oh I don't I don't worship I don't never pray prostrate on no statue ya miskeen fearing other than Allah in the fearing that is a fear of worship is shirk loving someone in the love that is a love of worship loving it for other than Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala ya akh ya ya miskin this is shirk raising your hands and calling an Ahmad Bamba and Bayinas and the Ahmad Tijan and whoever this, this guys are this is shirk ya fulan so but they don't the people they don't see it as shirk limada because those who are supposed to clarify the issue maybe the issues are not clear to them perhaps the issues are not clear to them because the Arabs they say what فاقد الشيء لا يعطي right those who don't have it ain't gonna give it to them ask the man right here a camel he ain't gonna give it to you right or wrong but ask him like a good majmur he might be in his you know happy mood and give you a battle free <laughs> which is not happening tonight huh? <laughs> Allah yubarak feek may Allah put barak in your merchant Amen. and all the merchants Amen. Alhamdulillah <laughs> so the Shah Hafizahullah he say limadha hadha tasahul fi amri shirk wa taghaful anhu Allahu Akbar he say why is this being laxidaisical about the issue of shirk why is this issue of being lax about the, the warning of shirk why is this taghaful this heedlessness of shirk of warning against shirk wa tarku nas yaqa'una fihi barakallahu fi and leaving the people falling into shirk wal ulama mawjudun and the ulama they are present they are alive he say, Bal, Yahishuna Maha Ulai. Allahu Akbar. May Allah love Shafozan. But he say, and they live in the mix of this individual. That means they know what they're doing. Okay, some of the things, Barakallah Fikum, you and I do not need to go to a book to know it. Because we lived in it. Or we were doing it. Or we were brought in it. Some of them think, yes, maybe Dhul Qarnaini need to learn it. Uh, uh, if you tell him, I don't believe it because he never experienced it, right? Some of the things, let's say he experienced it, if he tells me, I might not believe it because I was not, I didn't experience that. Or you didn't experience that. But it, he, he lived with this. He said, these, some of these scholars, they are leaving. يَعِيشُونَ مَعْهَا أُولَئِهِ وَيَسْكُتُونَ عَنْهُمْ And they be quiet about these issues. They be quiet about these issues. They discuss quite about these issues. If how long we go, we be, be going to, to classes. And we did not know the importance of Tawheed. We did not know the evil that is in shirk. Then you know that perhaps, Barakallahu Fikum, that we were taking the wrong direction. We were taking the wrong direction. Because this was not the thing that was brought up to us. We should be the first thing to be brought up to us every single day. Every single day. Take any CD or any tape of the ulama, any, any, and listen to us from the ulama of the Salafus Salih. Except that you will hear about Tawheed or Shirk. Except that you will hear about Tawheed or Shirk. Or you will hear both of them at the same time. He said, Al Wajib. But what is Wajib? What is a must? طيب ما معنى الواجب ما معنى الواجب I will take the Arabs first أي أفضل إذا فعله أزيزة طيب I understand yeah go ahead وإذا تركه يؤذب طيب that's good that's 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 what is understood but put it in the in the correct قاعدة أحسنت أيوة 
Barakallah fiqh. Now this is what he said the same thing, but yeah, with his own words, but is understood. That what is wajib is the one that does it will be rewarded. The one that abandons it will be sinful, punished. So he say here, Fal wajib. What is wajib? Is an yatajaha. And yet a jaha that you give the direction awalan first and foremost ila nahi ila nahi an hadha al khutarat al azim alladhi fakat aw alladhi fakata bil umma faktan aw fatkan dhari'an he say but what is wajib it is to be directing or to be given the, the first and foremost place to be warning against that which is of a great seriousness that the ummah today is being yani, submerged in a way that they could not even find their, their way out meaning because today the ummah is so much into that which is وَالْعِيَاذُ billah shirk of shirkiyat to the point that they are knee deep in it. He say, Kullu dhan bin duna fa huwa ahwanu minhu. That every sin that is lesser, that is other than shirk, it is lighter than it. Every sin that is other than shirk, it is lighter than, than shirk. So therefore, wal wajib an yabda'a bil aham fal aham. So what is wajib? is that you start with that which is more important طيب, from that which is more important you start with that which is important that is more important and then that which comes after meaning you give precedence to that which is what has importance any level of importance and Shaykh al-Islam ibn Taymiyyat rahimahullah ta'ala he mentioned that one of the ways that the shaitan has misguided or he is trying to misguide the Muslim with is to make them not to be aware of their priority not to be aware of their priority what they should do first or what they should care most now this is something that the shaitan has barakallah fikum polluted the mind of some people that they don't see the importance of speaking about Tawheed, uh, about, about Tawheed. They don't see the importance of speaking against Shirk because they don't see the priority that Shirk has over other sins. They don't see the importance of warning against Shirk that it has over Barakallah Fikum other sins that are, that, are, that, are, that, are, that are very evil. But the evil that is in Shirk is not in all those sins. Tayyip. And this was the end of the statement of Shaykh al-Islam ibn Tay, uh, Muhammad al Wahhab when he mentioned wa a'adhamu ma naha anhu ash-shirk that the worst that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has prohibited is a shirk Now what is a shirk? This is the question that maybe we should ask And he said wa huwa da'watu ghayruhu ma'ahu Tayyip, what is a shirk? Jazakallah He said a shirk it is to be now listen to this Allah. it is to be calling طيب, other than Allah ma'ahu along with Allah shirk it is to be calling other than Allah along with Allah طيب, he say da'watu ish kamil ghayruhu ma'ahu it is to be calling other than Allah along with Allah. It is to be calling other than Allah along with Allah. Mathalan, the person he say, Ya Abdul Qadir al Jailani. O oh, Ya Abdul Qadir al Jailani, give me a son. O oh, Ya Abdul Qadir al Jailani, make my son to be a Hafiz al Quran. Or you say, Ya Abdul, a person say, Oh, Ya Abdul Qadir al Jailani, give me a righteous wife. Amen. Huh? <laughs> and then he turn around and he say, Oh Allah, 
aid me in my in my project or oh Allah aid me in my business so he called other than Allah alone with Allah طيب شيخ فاضل حفظه الله ورعاه he mentioned he say هذا تعريف الشرك this is the definition of shirk طيب as we memorize التوحيد inshallah I want everybody to memorize four words and not only to memorize it, but inshallah, we teach it to our wives and our children, inshallah ta'ala. He say, ash-shirk, huwa da'watu ghayruhu ma'ahu. It is to call other than Allah alone with Allah. Tayyip. So he mentioned, huwa da'watu ghayruhu ma'ahu. It is to call other than Allah, yani, along with Allah. Bima'ana an yusraf. شيئا من العبادة لغير الله من ملك أو من نعم من ملك من من الملائكة من ملك من الملائكة أو نبي من الأنبياء أو صالح من الصالحين أو نبي من البنات بنيا بنيا من البنايات بنيا meaning a house or a place من البنايات from other places أو غير ذلك من كل مخلوق he say at shirk it mean that you are directing to other than Allah سبحانه وتعالى any type of worship from those who are from the malaika or an angel among the angels or you are directing it to a prophet among the prophets or you are directing this act of worship to a righteous person among the righteous paid person. Or to a place, a building among other buildings. And he mentioned, min kulli Or other than these creation from the rest of the creation. He said, فَمَنْ صَرَّفَ شَيْئًا مِنَ الْعِبَادَاتِ لِغَيْرِ اللَّهِ فَهَذَا هُوَ أَعْذَمُ مَا نَهَى اللَّهُ عَنْهُ هذا هو الشرك and he say whoever يعني describe or direct any type of worship any type of worship besides Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to anyone besides Allah he say that this is the worst of the sins this is the worst that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has prohibited and this is the meaning of shirk طيب but here there was a nukuta inshallah ta'ala we wanted to read that is very alhamdulillah we important important it is could be found in the statement of Shaykh Muhammad Amal al-Jami rahimahullah tabaraka wa ta'ala and it is in the definition of what is the meaning of yani al-shirk Shaykh Muhammad Amal al-Jami rahimahullah tabaraka wa ta'ala he mentioned here and this is why it is a benefit to be, alhamdulillah, any cross-reading from the shuruhat. He say here, because here, look at the word that Allah, the, the shaykh, he say, he say, huwa da'watu ghayruhu ma'ahu. It is to be calling other than Allah, along with Allah. But look at what Shaykh Muhammad Amman al-Jami, rahimahullah, mentioned. Because here, a da'wah is what? A da'wah is what? To supplicate. To supplicate, huh? الدعوه ان تدعو غير الله مع الله that just you call on other than Allah سبحانه وتعالى so Shaykh Muhammad Amman al-Jami he mentioned هل الشرك دعوة غيره معه أم أعم من الدعوة he say is the meaning of shirk calling supplicating to other than Allah along with Allah or it is broader it is broader than just calling طيب Meaning, is it just calling other than Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? By way of saying, Ya Abdul Qadir al-Jailani, aid me. This is only shirk. But when you are loving Abdul Qadir al-Jailani in the love that is a love for worship, then this is not shirk. Is that the meaning of that? Tayyip, he mentioned, Al-shirk a'ammu min al-da'wah wa du'a naw'un mu'ayyan min anwa'il ibadah. He say here that shirk, it is broader. Tayyip. It is broader than calling 
other than Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Because calling